Subterranean Soldiers started as a competitive multiplayer game. Two players began at the top of a mountain and dug their way through, trying to find an artifact and bring it back to the surface. They would find tools to let them slow their opponent's progress. Landmines and grenades would blow up part of the mountain and the other player, while water and poison gas would create hazards that couldn't be passed. After several iterations, we finally decided that combat wasn't engaging enough. The players were better off ignoring each other and just racing after the artifact. We decided to cut the competition from the game and focus on creating interesting puzzles and platforming areas so that one player would have a great experience. Subterranean Soldiers is a game about exploring a cave system to find a legendary artifact. The player controls Doug, a spelunking daredevil as he dives into the depths of the earth, avoiding deadly traps and natural hazards in search of a crystal dinosaur skeleton. Doug must navigate a maze of poisonous gas, lethal spikes, and pools of lava using his trusty pickaxe to dig to his treasure. We spent a great deal of time trying to make sure that everything included in the game was engaging. Our biggest misstep was trying to force the game to introduce a mechanic in a small tutorial area, and then give the player a large area to demonstrate their mastery. Each time the player passes through a door, they either learn a new skill, or and the water from the original multiplayer builds was cut. It proved too difficult to implement and didn't have enough interaction. It also didn't make much sense in our single-player puzzle-focused design. We also removed mechanics we had was more important. If we had more time, we could likely have reintroduced those and created interesting puzzles around them. The two most important lessons that we learned were that first, we had to recognize when a design isn't working and drop it. Subterranean soldiers made a lot more progress once we decided that chasing multiplayer was hurting the game more than it helped. Second, we learned the importance of strong focus. While we were trying to make multiplayer work, we didn't have a strong direction on how we wanted the game to play. We wanted players to fight, but we had no real ideas on how to entice them. Once we changed direction, we quickly agreed on the tutorial and challenge form of puzzles of the final build. There's still plenty of room for improvement, but we feel like we made a tight, enjoyable game that showcases our level design and mechanic skills. We are proud to say that we created Subterranean Soldiers. Now please enjoy the rest of the gameplay footage of Subterranean Soldiers.